Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Maps here, and today I finally have my video glide tutorial up. And uh, this is on the Mac. It's all on the Mac. Um, it's a software called Video Glide, and it doesn't come with the Easy Cap, but um, it's something that I downloaded separately. And it's pretty good. It's it records really nicely. It's only for Mac though, so you know these settings are only for Mac. I mean, uh, for PC it's much of the same settings, but it's not the same format. So um, I don't know. You know, because I do all my stuff on a Mac. I don't actually use a PC for anything. I do all my editing, all my, all that stuff on a Mac. So, uh, this is just from those Mac users out there. But uh, if you're a PC user, I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for PCs. This is just a Mac one, which I think is the best Mac one um, on YouTube right now. Um, so, anyway, we're going to play a little Uncharted 3 here. And Uncharted 3 has, like, the best graphics, and it's really good for testing my video quality. So, um, what you want to do is, I have Video Glide open right now, Video Glide Capture. You're going to go over to Record and Video Settings. Now, what you're going to do is, do not change this. Do not change the compression type. You know, because a lot of videos on YouTube, they mess with this a lot. Like, they make it MPEG-4 or, like, H.264 or even Apple Intermediate Codec. But, what you want to do is just keep it at Photo JPEG, and that will suit you just fine. And we're going to convert it a little bit afterwards, but for now, just keep it at photo JPEG. As far as frame per second, you want to keep it at best. You don't want to mess with this because it may um, lower the frame rate of your video. Um, just keep it at best. Quality, um, or depth as it's called. Uh, I think the default is color. You want to go ahead and change it to best depth. And uh, this is uh, it starts out at a medium or something, I think. You want to go ahead and drag it to best, just like that. And uh, you don't have to change any of that. Um, that's um, for that. Now go over to adjustments. And um, you want to copy what I have right here. So uh, originally it's like this. We're only going to change two things. Sharpness and saturation. And uh, this will get you a really nice picture quality. Sharpness you want to make about 20. Um, 20 is good. There we go. You want to make 20, you know, around, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, just make it about 20. And saturation, you want to make about 65 will be good. Alright, that's good enough. And now you see we have some really nice quality here. And as far as source and video guide, you want to keep it here. Um, I'm using S-Video, and a lot, of, a lot of you may be using composite. But S-Video is the best. Um, it gives you the best quality. But if you only have a composite cable, then uh, it would automatically select composite. But you don't want to... Um, you don't want to change anything over here. Video Glide should be kept at defaults, um, and it's already like that. You don't have to change anything for that. So go ahead and click OK. And now what you're going to do is go to Record and uh, Custom Size. And this is what you want, 1280 by 720. You can also do 1920 by 1080 here. And this will give you, this will give you 1080p um, HD quality, but um, I don't think it's worth it. Because 1080p, 1080p takes a lot of time to export. And uh, fun fact of the day, you cannot dif differentiate between uh, 720p and 1080p below a 40-inch monitor. It's about the same. And because, you know, most people view YouTube videos on a computer, uh, there's not much point to make it 1080p. And plus, it just takes a lot of time to export. So um, what I do is I do 1280 by 720, and that'll give you 720p HD. So it should look like this. And I skipped sound settings because you don't have to do much actually for sound settings. You want to keep everything the same. The only thing that you want to change is for your preference. Um, what this will do, so if I click on um, the laptop computer, the speaker from the game will go on on my laptop while I'm recording. And this is good if you're playing like live while you're recording. But if you're just using theater mode or something for Uncharted or Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3, then go ahead and click off so you don't have that annoying gunshot sound and everything. Um, you're not when you're not even playing, you know, you're just recording. So I'm just gonna leave it off. That's really your preference. Um, can't say anything for that. Um, that's basically it. So let's record a little bit here. Um, so go ahead and click record. We're just gonna record like five seconds or so. Um, so test footage one, let's say. All right. Whoops. Alright, you see there's no sound right now, because I said off while recording, and uh, we're not going to do much here. Alright, that should be enough. Oh, 
Alright, so just click in that window and it'll be done. Now, let's go ahead and close all this actually. And open um, our folder here. Um, go to another window here. Alright, uh, this isn't working for some reason. Alright, so what you want to do is, uh, sorry for this. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and open that test footage one. And you see it is not 1080 by, I mean, um, 720p. It's instead in this little box, which is like 480 by something, something. And, uh, this is obviously not HD. And, um, that is because Photo JPEG does not support, um, full HD. It only ha goes up to this size. But that's okay, because we're gonna deinterlace it anyway. Because, you know, if we play this, you see, when I pause, you see there's a lot of motion here. When there's a lot of motion, there's a lot of lines, and uh, makes up for the blur, and uh, deinterlacing is when, like, the fields get slowed down or something like that. It's pretty complicated, but we're not gonna dwell on that. Anyway, you see when I pause, when there's a lot of motion, you have these rectangular lines that get in the way of a lot, and make the quality not as good. So we're gonna remove them right now. Um, so what you want to do is open up Avi Demook. So I forgot to mention the, f the three softwares you're going to need for this tutorial. And uh, they're all free except for Video Guide. Um, Avi Demooks and also um, VLC. And I'll show you why you need VLC later. So anyway, we have Avi Demooks here. It's a very um, uh, good op um, software editor, video editor. And uh, you can do a lot with it. I mean, it's one of the good things it does do is deinterlacing, but it does a lot of other stuff too. But anyway, let's go ahead and open our uh, file here. Um, should be uh, um, test footage one. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we have this here. And you see it's still not 720p, it's still a little box, but, uh, first of all, for video, change it from copy into MPEG-4 ASP XVID. And audio, you want to change to MP3 lame. And now what you want to do is format, just keep it AVI. Now go to video and filters. Now go to interlacing and scroll all the way down and you'll find T-Date. <clears throat> and what this does, it's a really good deinterlacer. And it barely removes any quality of the video, but it just removes all those rectangular lines. So the, you don't need to change anything in all this. The only thing you need to change is field order, and just make it bottom field first. Um, I don't, I haven't even tried top field, but uh, bottom field works fine. So go ahead and do that. Click OK. And now if I go ahead and open Preview here, you see that there's no more lines. It's all gone, and we have some good quality. You know, the lines are all gone. And uh, just the motion, it looks good. So now uh, we need to add some more filters. So to make it actually 720p, the size, we're going to use a filter called um, M Player Resize. So it's different from this resize. Just make sure you select M Player Resize. And go ahead and uncheck Lock Aspect Ratio. And for resize dimensions, you want to make it, um, as I said, either um, 720p or... Um, 1080p like this but I'm gonna stick with um, 720p um, oops oops I did that wrong alright and this you don't want to change um, go ahead and click OK and now one thing we're gonna increase the sharpness a little bit so like the text seems more smooth it's a lot better um, so um, there's a lot of tools here but let me show you the correct one to use you want to use M sharpen and what this does is sharpens edges without amplifying noise and what noises is um, like the little lines you see when your TV is not working um, you know the gray and white lines that's what's called noise and you just want to change this a little bit threshold you want to make 20 and strength because if it's 100 you have these weird pixels going on and it doesn't look as good so make it 80 and now if I preview it I'll move it over a little bit. You see, we've got some good quality here. Yep, and the text you see is good. It looks pretty good. The lines are gone. All right, so let's press OK and go ahead and close this. Now we're gonna just export this up. So, um, test footage 
oops, footage too. And uh, let's do it in Dr. Wazi here. Alright, so this is going to take not very long to export. It's going to take about a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and uh, our file has been successfully saved, but now what you see is this is really weird file, it's not even like a video, and if you try to open it in QuickTime, um, or just open, you see it says the document test footage 2 cannot be opened because QuickTime cannot um, open the data format, but uh, that's why you need VLC, VLC is free, and uh, just go ahead and download it, it's a media player, and it's really powerful, it can, it can handle all types of video files. So we're going to open with VLC, and that should work. Alright, there we go. And now you see, we have some good quality, and it's playing alright. And uh, even though um, QuickTime does not support um, the, the weird format, uh, YouTube does, which is a little weird because QuickTime is an actual media player. But anyway, YouTube does, so you can go ahead and upload... Um, this file right here, test footage 2 to YouTube, and it'll take it and it'll process just fine and it'll work. Um, so now you see, you um, the text is good, th th there's no lines, and even if we, so this is, YouTube size is about like right here, regular size. If we scale down to that, you see we have some really nice quality. And that's basically what people see is this size. So, um, that's about it. Um, that's my quality test. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, if you want some more tutorials from me, um, might make an updated version of this um, to like convert this file so you can edit it. But other than that, um, look for more game to play um, this week, some more mobs, some more mob fails. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it helped you a lot. And uh, yeah, see ya.